Okay, this is a reading for Sagittarius. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I'm not going to shuffle these. I'm just going to open them and see what comes out, okay? So we have Apple. Temptation will test you, okay? So there could be something or someone that's going to, um, you know, test you here in the next couple days. So you see that snake? <laughs> so be careful about that. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Son of a bitch. The, you, this is why I wasn't, it's like spirit told me not to touch these or shuffle them to just bust them apart. <laughs> Since they do look like little eggs, okay? So let's see what this one says. Younger woman, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. Okay, so this could be a woman who's going to try to tempt some of you or get you involved in something that's not right. Tulip, great passion. Ooh, okay. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who's going to try to tempt you, like, passionately. And if you're, like, a male, do not fall into this trap, okay? Don't let some broad tempt you into some infidelity or, like, a workplace romance or some weird crap, you know? Rose. Romance is in the air. See, this has something to do with sex. <laughs> so, make sure that you're not being tempted by somebody um, and then it ends up, like, being something that's not good at all. Lily, spiritual love. Yeah, because you guys do. There is a spiritual love, but the other one's not. So, have discernment on who's toxic and not. Don't you find that strange, nothing but flowers just came out? Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Okay. So, whoever this is, you guys aren't going to fall for it. You guys are being protected finger warning you are a problem either now or in the near future warning you of a problem either now or in the near future yeah it's just there's somebody around you guys who are going to try to cause problems don't fall into the temptation and so say if somebody is trying to point the finger at you and accuse you of some shady shit but you know they're the ones doing it don't fall into their mind games okay so what are the messages Sagittarius needs to hear what are the messages Sag needs to hear today Oh, yeah, I was going to tell you, those of you like purchasing reading or the extended readings, um, when you cash out me, Vimo me, or PayPal me, make sure that you spell Nikki with one K, not two, okay? Because there is somebody else who has the exact same name as me, except they spell it with two Ks. So make sure you're only using one K, the way you don't send it to the wrong person. Four of Wands. There you guys are being stable. There is a need for you guys to be stable and grounded this week. I've been picking up on that. Um, like I said, if somebody's trying to, like, push your buttons or get you involved in something, um, there's a need to stay grounded. Um, this also talks about stability, being at home, marriage, celebration. Well, let's see what else comes. Somebody could be coming to your home. Ooh, lovers. Wow. So you got somebody here who's wanting a commitment with you. You could have a choice between two lovers also. Oh, jealous. See, this is what always comes up in your readings. It's like these jealous-ass people around you. You guys might need to make a decision that's best for you and not for others without five of swords. But I just feel like there's somebody around you who likes to play mind games. So it kind of almost makes me wonder if you have like a lover who's presenting themselves as a divine counterpart but they're actually playing mind games a lot of you guys could be dealing with your twin flame here too but there's like jealousy in the air yeah you're getting new love so somebody could be jealous that you're getting this new love here somebody is choosing you like, somebody has chosen you. Like, you're the one that they want to be with. So, this could be making, like... So, say if you're dealing with somebody and they had, like, an ex. Like, these people could be upset that this person's choosing you. Because I see, like, two people being happy, celebrating. And then there's these damn haters over here. Yeah, somebody is jealous and upset. 
and burdened at the fact that you have found new love, like that somebody has chosen you or somebody's about to. Yeah, look at this shit. You can't make it up, Sagittarius. There is like people who are like going to try to cause drama um, in between like you and a person. So don't fall for the temptation of like lashing out at these people. I feel like there's just somebody or it could be a group of people who are like going to try to test your gangster this week <laughs> or maybe even today. Um, it's like they want to pull out the bad side of you and it's like maybe they could get you to come out of character then they can point the finger at you. So don't fall for this trap. Do not fall for this. If you got haters or people talking bad, just let them keep talking because they're only talking because they're jealous. Yeah, see, I feel like you have a choice. We have two, two, two here on this row. Like, you could have a choice between lovers. There could be a lot of people fighting for your attention. <clears throat> but somebody's burdened that they have competition. They're also burdened that you have choices in love. Yeah. Somebody that you walked away from or you're going to walk away from somebody. It's either you're walking away from somebody, like you're making the decision to walk away from all this drama, this stress, or somebody that you walked away from is like wanting to start something with you. Some These people are really mad that you have found new love because here you are, you're holding this new cup of love, the Ace of Cups. You're holding it. You're very happy. But there's also a sense of you needing to keep your emotions in check with the or in check with the Queen of Cups. You can't make it up. Look at all these twos. We have two, two, two. The lovers. It's just like everyone, everything in this row is a two. So you guys are gonna have some serious decisions to make here this week or in the near future. Like when it comes to work, love, family, friends. Like, do you cut these people off? Do you keep them around? A lot of you are very indecisive on which way to go and what to do. Yeah, and you got somebody who walked away from you who is watching you, stalking you, and I don't think you see them. Or either their dumbasses don't think you see them, but you do. But somebody is keeping a very close eye on you and your new love. <clears throat> <laughs> look at you you're just happy like you're happy you have the ten of cups complete emotional fulfillment and then here you are like holding back the devil like the devil is being held back from you a lot of you guys have had to be like really strong but i just feel like you have people who are watching you who are not happy for you this could even be your damn family unfortunately Yeah, somebody is looking to see what type of options you have here. And they don't want to let go of you. So somebody is very, like, possessive over you. But there's, like, this holding back energy also. Like, it's like they're not talking to you, maybe, or they're not telling you, the emperor. So you have this very stubborn energy here who's, like, very possessive over you. Could be an Aries energy. Yeah, it's somebody you ended things with. So there's somebody, this like divine masculine energy, whether they're male or female, they're coming in a divine masculine energy. They're still holding on to you. They feel like they own you and they're like upset that you've ended things with them. So they're keeping an eye on you here. Yeah, whoever this person is like, man, there is just like a lot of heartbreak. See, something's not going right for somebody, but something's going good for you. Like, whoever this person is, they're, they're in, like, the Three of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands. And you're just out trying to decide which way to go. And I kind of feel like if you don't make a choice, because we have all that 2-2-2, two, 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 which is making a decision, I feel like... The spirit in the universe is just going to step in and make the decision for you because <laughs> the wheel steps in. 
the wheel's like, okay, like, let me just do this for you. And then you put, like, the devil under you. But they're telling you to guard yourself. Like, you need to stay ready. Have you ever heard that saying, stay ready so you don't got to get ready? That's what you need to do. You need to stay prepared, I'm hearing. Yeah, and that's what this is. There's a damn ex. There's somebody from your past who is, like, really heartbroken. Um, they're very upset that you have found new love. They could live at a distance. But this person's coming back. Like, they've made the decision, the judgment to return. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person's really heartbroken over losing you. Yeah, they want to come back to you. Because they're, they're starting, whoever this person is, I don't know, like, if you left them or they left you or whatever. But they're starting to realize that they feel like you're their soulmate. That you were the one who really, like, made them happy again. And they're realizing this. Yeah, and then we have the King of Wands. Ace of Wands. So you got a couple people. You have an ex, and then you have this newer person coming in that wants a brand new passionate beginning with you. star Aquarius energy somebody wants to come back and heal things with you so you got a couple people here a newer person and a past person yeah whoever this king of wands is I feel like they could get a lot of attention or maybe you're this king of wands you get a lot of attention but somebody is also like very attracted to you who, you know what? And if you're not this King of Wands and this is a newer person, they see you for who you truly are. They know that you're very successful and they view you as a star. So they know. And then look at this. Okay. So this newer person knows who you are, but they're, it's like this, this past person keeps showing up here. It's like they want to take over the reading. So I don't know if this is like an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but whoever this person is, um, they are like in despair and regret. And it's like they are realizing that you were their soulmate the whole time. That's what they were realizing with the Six of Cups. Like, oh shit, Sagittarius was actually my soulmate. And that whoever they could have left you for didn't make them happy. Um, and they're in like regret and despair because they see that you're moving on to victory, success, you're out looking for new love, you have options, and it's really putting this person like in heartbreak. Yeah, and it's a devil energy. That's why you're in the Queen of Swords with this, this past person because you're like, you know what, I see you for who you are, I know you're the devil, I know you're toxic, I know that you didn't treat me right when you had the chance. And you're only coming back because you see me with somebody else. So keep that in mind. Like, don't fall for this this um, illusion that these past people really love you and want you back. They only want you back. It's kind of like a little kid who has a toy. They don't want it till they see another kid playing with it. And then they're like, oh, no, that's my toy. That's what's going on here. So keep that in mind. The past people who did you dirty once, they'll do it again. Don't think that they've changed, okay? Because it's like if they didn't value you the first time, what do you think they're going to do to you the second and third and fourth, fifth time? They're just going to play you and leave you heartbroken. Yeah, these people know you're the empress. So they're coming to the realization. So whoever this emperor energy is, this very masculine energy, they're coming to the realization that you were the empress the whole time. And now they want to come back and latch on to you because they see you doing very well. And they feel like you're getting too free. Like you're just too free for this person's comfort zone. So they feel like they need to come back and regain control over you. Mm -hmm. They had you in a damn third party out here being a fool. And they're realizing that the third party ain't shit. Okay, so wherever they went to, they realized the third party ain't shit. Can't compare to you. That's what they get. That's what they get. That's what they get. 
Yeah, look at you. You're moving away. You're headed to your destiny. You're like, I'm out of here. And I feel like they, they kind of feel like they can't catch up with you too, whoever this is. Well, you got them stressed out though. <laughs> whoever this person is, they're having like nightmares and shit. Yeah, look at that. They're thinking of you day and night, day and night. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, like, oh God, Sagittarius is leaving me. It's, yeah, they're having anxiety. So let me tell you this. A lot of us are energy readers. If you are just out of the blue start having like anxiety attacks, worry, um, just feeling really depressed and you're like, man, why do I feel this way? It's not you. It's this person because this person's latched on to you energetically with that devil energy and the four of pentacles. So if you're feeling that, no, it's not you. It's outside of you. You need to get your sage out and sage, okay? Like, I've been burning mine for days. Just, well, plus I do spiritual work, so I have to. <laughs> but you guys need to, too. Yeah, this person's coming in hot, quick, and fast towards you. Like, they got a lot to say. Um, they're no longer going to be quiet. Yeah, and they want to reverse this death. It, this person's coming to the realization that they cannot lose you. So they're going to really act out here. Yeah, like I said, I feel like this person lives at a distance, whoever this is. Or if not, they're just waiting on you, but they're realizing they can no longer just wait around. Yeah, they have to get to you and heal this situation. This person's laying in bed at night trying to figure out what's the best route to take to get to you. Yeah, this person wants to work with you, build with you, create with you. But most importantly, they're mapping out a plan, okay? And I'm telling you, if this person lives at a distance, I don't care if it's 10 states away. This person is planning on coming to you, so be prepared for that. They're going to come to you. They don't care how they have to get to you. They're coming, okay? But this person's mapping out a detailed plan. This person's very meticulous in their thoughts. You probably are dealing with an earth or an air sign. Fire signs are as meticulous. We just go out and do it. Like, <laughs> this person's mapping a plan out. Like, that's what makes me think it's air or earth. And water signs are too crybabyish to do anything. <laughs> Sorry to you water signs watching, but you guys cry a lot. Okay, uh, <laughs> I know that's mean, but whatever. Um, Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person is mapping out a plan how to lock you down, how to get Sagittarius. Yeah, they want Sagittarius. <laughs> so this person's trying to figure out a way to like ring in the horse here. Um, and they don't want you giving to others. So this is part of their plan. This is what they're mapping out. They're mapping out a plan how to stop you from moving on. They feel like you are just too free, too doing, you're doing too much Sagittarius. And this person's not comfortable. And I think because in the past they had you wrapped and then you woke up. <laughs> it was like they could have like lulled you to sleep with like love spell or something. And then you woke up and you're like, what the hell? And then you took off. And they're like, well, where did Sagittarius go? Well, let me tell you something. Once a horse runs off, they usually, they don't backtrack. They keep going. So this person is going to have to learn the hard way um, how Sagittarius is ruled. Yeah, you're, you listen to your intuition. You woke up, spirit woke you up and gave you clarity. Like they, they showed you the secrets of how this person truly is. And you took off on them. You listened to your spirit guides. Good for you. You guys are now following spirit instead of following these people. Because you knew, you knew instinctively this person was playing you and lying to you and deceiving you. And that's why spirit told you to stop giving to this person to begin with. Because this person was giving to others. And now the tables have turned. They see you giving to others and they want to stop it. Like I said, this person could be very narcissistic. Like in the fact that they want to have all these toys to play with. And you can't. You're just one of their toys. But if you go get your own toys to play with. Oh, that, mm, you can't do that. So this person strategically coming up with a plan. How to get you back. Yeah, so one of their plans also is to like offer you a commitment, marry you, something like that. But they know you're the queen of pentacles. You're very abundant. Um, and this person wants to come out of the cold. They feel like they're out in the cold from you right now. And it's very funny because I had a dream last night that there was a guy. I don't know who this guy was, but he had like a goatee. His hair was kind of like black, but it had some gray hair in it. Um, 
probably about 200 something pounds, 5 foot 11. So I don't know if any, you know anybody like that. But I knew instinctively this dream wasn't for me. It was for somebody who watches me because this person was out in the garage and it was like winter time and he kept asking to come in my house. And I'm like, well, why do you want to come in the house? He's like, well, it's very cold out here. It's winter out here. So it was like, it was a premonition of me seeing somebody who feels left out in the cold that wants to come in the house, like come back to you. So you guys have these people who feel like without you, there's no like sun. You see how you're sitting in the sun basking with all your abundance. And this person's over here with no money and could even be homeless. But when you're not around, they feel like there's nothing to live for. But this person didn't realize it until you took your energy back. <clears throat> yeah, so what they're going to do is come in and offer you a commitment. Because they want to go from the dark to the light. You see how this man is entering into the light and then you're over here in the light? That's where they want to get to, is to this light. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So see, there's two people. There's more. I, some of you guys could be dealing with multiple people, but you have two people who are bringing in those love offers. One's going to try to tell you they want commitment. The other one's just going to want to romance you. I mean, it could be multiple people. Whoever this person is, though, that's out in the cold, they don't really have anything. <clears throat> they just have one little pinnacle here. And they're hoping to put it with yours. <clears throat> you're gonna, you got a lot of people coming at you, I feel like. Yeah, you're just working. <laughs> this is like your karmic justice, okay? So this is like due to you. You're getting good karma, which means your finances are increasing. You're getting new love. Um, things are going in your favor, and these people not so much, okay? Because um, I can see here you're doing something. You're building something, creating something, working hard. And then we have this Libra energy. Um, so you could also have a Libra coming back. But it's like the scales are balancing out in your favor, and people are seeing this, so they want to come back. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Your, your finances are increasing. Whenever I see the Justice card, that means you have new love and new money coming in. It's your karma. Yeah. And you finally find somebody who matches your love and your intensity. So that you have really good karma. You're getting true love. You're getting money. And this is just pissing people off. Yeah. And you're just free. You're out living life. And whoever this King of Wands is, they're also very pat or King of Cups. I don't know why I said King of Wands. <clears throat> they could be the same person. <clears throat> um, but this person here wants to message you. They're very passionate about you. Um, but this is also getting a message of good news. So you could be getting some good news here. And look at that. You somehow, some way, avoid a tower. The tower, thank you, Lord. In all your readings, this tower has been in the upright. You guys are now making the, the right choices to avoid this tower moment. So if that means that you removed the snake from your your life or something, it worked. You're, it's like you're using your discernment to avoid these tower moments so that they don't even happen because you've seen it coming like miles away. And you're starting to listen to your intuition. So when your intuition is telling you to leave a place leave a certain person you don't question it you're now just doing it because you you're learning that when you don't listen to that voice you get screwed every time <clears throat> yeah you are moving to peace to calmer waters so whoever these people are that are in the five of swords five of wands ten of wands three of swords and they're coming at you from every different direction i've been seeing in your readings they can't touch you they're gonna they tried to cause a tower moment for you, but you just sailed right on by it. Like here you are being free. The tower didn't even touch you and you just went right by it. Because you were led by spirit. It's like spirit took you right out of it to calmer waters. So you are avoiding a tower moment this week. And look at that. Look at this. This is hilarious. Everything that's hidden in the dark is now light. Spirit has shown you. I'm going to take a picture of this and make it the header. Um, Spirit has shown you the way. 
like they illuminated the way for you so that you wouldn't get trapped in this tower and get trapped with these people and you go straight from dark to light so everything done in the dark comes to the light and you're just completely happy here but you're also meeting your divine counterpart this is yin and yang energy so we have the sun and the moon so you are moving from it's like you're jumping timelines and people see it and they want to go with you but they can't i even feel like you stole these people's red flags like <laughs> like mate you've seen all these people's red flags and it's like you just stole the flag from them and then like the sun's shining and you're like laughing like that little kid because you recognized all the red flags that they had and you're like oh i'll just take your flag from you and then run off into the sunset so it's very funny <clears throat> how spirit works and there you are with the world moving on closing out cycles that no longer serve you and a lot of you guys are getting this like clarity like look at this these two cards are together it's like spirit lit up your head to give you truth and clarity um, and that is a victory wreath so that you can move forward with clarity knowing that you did the right thing by moving away from these people because your intuition has probably been telling you that there's something not right with this lover or this co-worker or this family member and yes family turns on you sometimes your family can be your worst nightmare so it's like and like with this card, it's not a temptation. You're avoiding a temptation. When that tower is in the reverse, that lets me know that you did not take the apple. You told the snake to fly a kite, okay? Because spirit warned you ahead of time. If you keep dealing with this person or you keep dealing with this situation, it's going to cause a tower in your life. So you took a different route. But so thank your spirit guides for that, okay? Um, I'm not going to do an extended. If you guys want an extended, like, so say if you're dealing, whatever sign you're dealing with, um, I have an extended that I did two days ago, and it shows, like, what's coming for the week, what people are planning, and then it goes through all the signs. So it gives you, like, a detail of whatever sign you're dealing with, what they're feeling, thinking, their true intentions, and what they're hiding. Um, so if you want to purchase that, just, it's in the description box, just, um, send the $8 or whatever, and then screenshot it and email me. <laughs> I'm the worst about it. I'm like, yeah, just whatever. <laughs> but it's in the description. I'll explain it in there. You just pay the $8 on Vimo, Cash App, or PayPal, and then, um, email me a screenshot, and I get it to you right away. Like, I usually send it within seconds, so. 432, angel number, and then 171. This could also be birth dates, but in numerology, there's no 12, so I break it down to a 3, but it still could be like somebody's birthday, December 7th, December 2nd, December 4th, 1st, December 1st, December 6th, December 5th, and then here's some signs you could be dealing with. Let's see. Gemini, Aries, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Cancer. Leo, Aries, Gemini, Cancer, Taurus. So those could be some signs you're dealing with, okay? Have a good one, Sag. Love y'all.